Harry's wife. If Harry read Politico. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. I've explained to you what Harry's wife's response would be if she happened to have read the Politico article by Joanna Weiss labelling her as a narcissist. If you haven't watched that, why on earth not? Go and watch it right away. But we also turn our attention to what would happen if Harry happened to read it. Now, this assumes that Harry is allowed access to the internet, and you might laugh at such an observation, but believe me, certain narcissists control the flow of information. Think about those narcissists that rule countries, that basically switch off the internet, restrict what people can read, what people can watch. It's done. Control information makes it a lot easier to control your populace. Accordingly, even within intimate relationships, there might be a flow of information that is controlled by the narcissist. You'll be fully familiar with instances where the narcissist controls the people that you're allowed to spend time with, that controls the places that you go to, how you spend your money. And therefore, a narcissist will also control your access to information, both in terms of the people that you speak to, the people that you spend time with, and may, in certain instances, cause there to be a paucity of information for that victim. It's quite possible that in order to maintain her control over Harry, she, of course, as you know, Harry's wife has ostracised him from, his royal, from the royal family, from his extended family, and has poured poison in his ear to cause him to believe that it's the appropriate thing to have very little to do with them. She could make it so that he doesn't have access to certain information by virtue of confiscation of phone, tablet, computer, or... Whilst allowing him access, she monitors it heavily, always looking over his shoulder, wanting to know who he's talking to, wanting passwords so that she can access, so she can control what he sees by virtue of always knowing what he's looking at. So it's highly likely that she does this in some shape or form because of her paranoia and that her narcissism compels her to either restrict the information that Harry receives or to frame it in a particular way and or to always have access to what he accesses so that she knows what he's been looking at. Assuming that Harry is allowed access to the internet and that he was able to read the Politico article, how would he respond to it? Would he immediately think, aha, so that's what the problem is. There's been a nagging itch all of this time. I knew something wasn't quite right about her, but I couldn't put my finger on it. People have been sending me messages telling me to watch the HG Tudor videos, but the wife will never let me. As soon as I start typing his name, an alarm goes off and she comes in and she tasers my pink pancakes, burning them to a crisp. So I'm never able to watch those videos. But now I've been able to have a sneaky look at this article. All is now clear to me. She's a narcissist. And I know what that means. Because there have been several in my family already. Papa. Uncle Andrew. For instance. So I know what a narc is. Oh yes indeed. Aha. I now need to escape her don't I. The fact is. If Harry were to read the article, and let us assume that he knows how to read, and let us not be too unkind there, or that perhaps there's something that reads out to him, so he at least understands what's being said, will he immediately understand what is meant by labelling her a narcissist? The short answer is, no, he won't. He will not think to himself, oh, that means that she's devoid of emotional empathy, she's manipulative, she has to control everybody around her, she does so through a means of both benign and malign activities. She needs fuel to sustain and propel her. She acquires character traits from people. She also engages in the acquisition of residual benefits, money, access, networks. She's just using me. She fed me an illusion to draw me in. And in so doing, what she has done is essentially con me. I see through it right away now. I know what she is. She's a manipulative she-devil, and I need to run. He won't see that. First of all, he would need to understand what is a narcissist. And in fairness to him, he won't. Not because he's thick, but simply many people don't actually understand what a narcissist is when a narcissist is brought to their attention. 
Leaving aside the inability to actually see the behaviours, once a person does, and they might go down the route of, for instance, looking up, why does he give me silent treatments? Why does she blow hot and cold? Why does she not want to sleep with me any longer? And that just might take them down the rabbit hole towards learning about narcissism. They don't necessarily grasp it to begin with. Why? Quality of information combined with their own emotional thinking. But let's just assume that Harry has this sort of traditional understanding of what a narcissist is, namely somebody that really loves themselves and is somewhat self-preoccupied. Would he then understand what he's dealing with? The answer is no. Because at this juncture, a combination of low cognitive function, lack of access to information, and the brainwashing that he's been subjected to coupled with his own emotional thinking means that he simply wouldn't accept what has been written about her. He is still a defender of hers. He will not accept that she's a narcissist on the basis of the way this article explains it, because it just labels her as such and doesn't focus sufficiently upon making the link between her behaviours and why that amounts to narcissism. Indeed, Harry would be better served by reading something that realize, causes him to realise, actually, these aren't very nice behaviours and I'm being abused, rather than going straight to the N-word. The problem that arises is that Harry will simply not accept this labelling of his wife because he has swallowed her narrative that various journalists, people on social media, the mainstream media, members of his own family have got it in for her and by labelling her as a narcissist, which is not a nice thing to do, this is once again smearing of her and it's just more grist to the mill. She, of course, is likely to point it out to him and say, look, they're doing it again, Harry, calling me nasty names. This is what they do. Oh, yes, I know, my darling. I'm sick and tired of it. We need to fight back. So quite simply, even if he were able to access this article, and there's no guarantee that he would do so, his reading of it isn't going to bring him with any enlightenment to cause him to realise that he is the victim of a narcissist. Instead, all he will do is see this as further evidence of the nastiness that's being exhibited towards his wife. He will not accept that she is a narcissist because of the Kool-Aid that he's been drinking for such a long time, and he will remain tra trapped. It will not even open the chink of a door for him to think, hmm, maybe there is some force in this argument. The reason being is that the article doesn't explain why her behaviours amount to narcissism or abuse and therefore he won't be able to make the link. He will just see it as a label and will just see it again as hateful behaviour. And therefore his reaction to reading this article, if he were able to do so, would be that he would not accept what it states and that he would just see it as a further attack upon his wife and would cause him to defend her, as he has done so, so far. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.